everybody, Bella Diamond here, otherwise known as Zet Donna. Welcome to Burlesque Chair Dance Headquarters. Um, now this video is all for our new Burn Club members. So you're new to Burn Club um, and we've issued you all a diet plan, which means that you are now going carb free. Now when we say carb free, we're talking about complex carbohydrates. So I want you to remember that everything has carbohydrates in baked beans, vegetables, you know, there's carbohydrates in everything. We are cutting off your complex carbohydrates, okay? Which is rice, potatoes, pasta, bread, pastries, cakes, biscuits, anything with flour in. That doesn't mean you can switch to gluten-free, okay? There's gluten-free products that is still complex carbohydrates because they're made out of flour and things like that. Now, the reason why we do this, guys, is because complex carbohydrates is your body's energy food. And whenever you eat rice, pasta, potatoes, anything with flour in, what your body is immediately going to do is turn that into glucose, sugar. This is what your body uses primarily for energy, okay? But when you don't burn off those complex carbohydrates that have turned into glucose, into sugar, and been stored by your body, it stores them as fat, okay? So what we all have right here, which you can see, is a cupboard full of energy. This is your stored energy source. So by cutting out the complex carbohydrates, you're gonna make your body go directly to here, straight away, return it into energy and live off it, okay? You are going to lose weight super, super, super fast, okay? Now, I want to get it out there firstly, okay? What happens when you eat those complex carbohydrates, which are turned into glucose, which is sugar, is that your body goes, woo, and then crash. So, when you cut them out, for the first couple of days, you're gonna be like, oh my God, what's going on? But after that, you're gonna have oodles of energy. You are not going to be hungry. Protein is just as filling as complex carbohydrates, but it's all about the mind fog. Okay, so you need to give it a couple of days to get into it, but your energy levels are gonna go through the roof. You are not gonna feel poorly. You are going to feel epic. You have nothing to worry about, okay? So, if you are a mesomorph or an ectomorph, fat will never make you fat, all right? There are two things that will make you gain weight, guys. Complex carbohydrates and sugar. Because obviously, glucose is your body's energy source, so why would you put sugar in, yeah? So it would be counterproductive to have sugar in your diet. You're putting in the glucose. We want our bodies coming straight to this cupboard here, which is full of lovely, lovely energy source. Use this rather than anything that we're putting into our mouths, okay? So I hope that makes sense. Endomorphs, your body type loves fat. It clings on to fat and it will store it just like that, the minute you put any in your body. So for an endomorph to lose weight effectively, one, we're going complex carbohydrate free, but two, you guys must follow a low fat diet. So I've been shopping and I've been out to Sainsbury's today. I know that it's a minefield. So when you cut out all of those products that you normally reach for, um, you're kind of like thinking, oh, well, what the hell can I have? Well, guys, I'm celiac. Um, and like most celiacs, I'm also lactose intolerant. Um, so I have to, I go quite low fat anyway on the dairy side, so I've got some amazing products for you. Um, and because wheat is really bad for you, it's really bad for me. The human body was not designed to eat wheat, guys. Yeah? We weren't designed to go to Tesco and buy breads and pastries and Greggs and McDonald's. That is not what we are designed to eat. We are mammals, okay? Food equals fuel. So I am joining all of our endomorphs for the entire weekend um, on a carb-free, low-fat, sugar-free diet. Okay, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to eat and I'm going to hopefully give you some really good ideas um, and I've got a few surprises for you as well that you might like. So when I wake up in the morning, I like coffee. <laughs> I like lots of coffee. I love caffeine. There's nothing wrong with caffeine. Caffeine is really good. It will speed up your metabolism. The downside to caffeine is remember it's a diuretic, which means it will dehydrate you. So you must make sure that you are drinking every single one of you between three to four liters of water a day to flush out your system, to be hydrated and to let your body work properly. Okay. The human body normally should have two liters. We're going to two, three to four, three to four. So when I wake up in the morning, I like coffee. I like a lot of coffee. Um, now I'm lactose intolerant, guys. Um, so coconut milk, it's naturally low fat. Ooh. Now I like to mix mine with this wonderful stuff, uh, which is from the Skinny Food Company, and it is coffee syrup. It is actually zero calorie. 
winning at life. Um, zero calorie, sugar free, no nasties in it. The one I've been using is um, caramel pecan. You can see how much I like it by how little is actually left. Now, the wonderful thing about these is you can buy them from B&M, they're 3 99 If you buy them online at the Finnish Skinny Food Company, they're 8 99 plus delivery, get to B&M. Now, what they also do is a little handbag size one. So I know our Lorraine likes going to Costa quite often. So rather than falling in the Costa coffee and, you know, falling in for their syrups, pick up one of these, get it in your handbag. And then that way, when you're out and about and you're on the move, you know you can stick to staying sugar-free. Costa does coconut milk as well. It's really nice in cappuccinos. It's really nice in latte. It's really low fat. Always ask for your coconut milk at Costa, guys. And these are fantastic. Now, once I've had probably about three cups of coffee, because it takes a while. And remember, we're doing four small meals a day, guys. Four small meals. Breakfast time is the best time to get your protein. So, I always go with a protein shake. Now, because I am gluten-free and because I am lactose intolerant, I have to have special protein. Um, because I'm special. So is Claire there. We're both special. Now, I'm on an isolate, okay? And an isolate just basically means there is nothing else in here but sweetness, which are fine, and protein. It, it comes out quite thin when it's with an isolate, but it gets absorbed into the body just like that. Um, so brilliant for ectomorphs, because remember you're having two protein shakes in addition to your four meals a day if you are on your second or third trimester. Not you, Emma. Okay. So I would mix up 300 mils, and I'd smash that in within probably the first 30 minutes of waking, and it tastes like smarties. Amazing. Um, and there's nothing else in there. Um, we're not counting calories, but there's only about 82 per serving. It's nothing. All this is is super good protein that's going to feed my muscles, all right, because I'm all about the muscle. You know this. Now, I am going to start, guys, um, this evening, actually, on the end morph carb-free diet, and I'm going to have a curry. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to have... No, not that one. There's so much stuff here. Whether or not I'm going to have a balti, or whether or not I'm going to have a Thai green curry. Thai green curry is wonderful. It's made again with coconut milk. Coconut milk is low fat. and Endomorphs crack on. Um, if you are going to go with one of these, you always want to make sure that it's a tomato-based sauce, not a creamy one. Leave those chicken tikkas alone. Mm -mm, no cormas. A tomato-based sauce is perfect. And most of them are gluten-free. That means there's no wheat in them. That means I can have them, but it also means you can have them too. So I might have a bolting. I might have a Thai green. I'm not quite sure. Now I'm going to have it with turkey, all right, for two reasons. Turkey breast. One, it was on offer at Sainsbury's. Work smart and not harder. £1.14, I like that. Um, now, turkey is the highest protein meat in the world. So there's more protein in turkey than there is in chicken, but it's cheaper than chicken. And you will not taste the difference, and neither will the kiddies. So I'm going to be frying off my turkey, and I might have a bowl too, I might have a green curry, I don't know. Now, instead of rice, I'm going to have coconut rice. Because again, it was on offer, it was 84p, why not? And it goes in the microwave, and I'm super, super lazy. <laughs> I'm on the laziest, laziest cooking world. Um, coconut, obviously, it's cauliflower, guys. Like, mixed into rice. But it has the same consistency. I really like it. You are going to want to put some salt on. Salt's fine. Salt won't make fat. All right, it's getting that out there. But make sure you drink any water. And the salt that you put on your meals is actually going to act as a, what's the word? An electrolyte. Yeah? So you can crack on with your salt. Get on everything. So cauliflower rice, that's what I'm having tonight. Now, what I'm also going to have with that, because, you know, I get a little bit picky sometimes. Um, and the great thing about us guys is the only thing that we're portion controlling um, on our carb-free diet in our first trimester is protein. Anything else in addition to that? Hmm, crack on. So what I'm also going to have is poppadoms. Poppadoms are made with lentil flour, guys. The gluten-free. Lentil is protein, not complex carbohydrate. <laughs> All right, lentils. If you like poppadoms, crack on, eat them like crisps. They're made out of lentil flour. Just watch the fat content as endomorphs. You know, you don't want to be going and eating all eight of them at once, but having one or two with your meal. It's lentils, protein. Why not? Now, because obviously, again, it was on offer, um, I'm going to have some spiced roasting cauliflower. Ooh. Um, it's fresh. It's full of turmeric, coriander, cumin, black onion seeds. Now, turmeric, coriander, and cumin are spices. Eating spices will increase your metabolism. 
yeah? And those are three of the best ones, actually, that you can eat. The best one that you can eat is going to be hot chilies, obviously. Turmeric, coriander, and cumin. Spices increase your metabolism. Have you ever met a fat Indian man? Something to consider, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so I'm going to be doing my spiced roasted cauliflower as a side dish with that. Um, and what I've also managed to pick up as well, which I quite like, is some curried lentils. Again, lentils. It's protein. You can have as much lentil as you like, but a lot of the lentil products they are going to taste like, you know, the goodies that you really, really like. So crack on. And it goes in the microwave because I am that lazy. So that's my dinner sorted tonight. And obviously it's not just me because I'll be having some of that as well. Now, when I wake up tomorrow morning, I'm going to have an end it more carb free fried breakfast. Now, what you can actually buy instead of bacon, guys, because endomorphs, you can't have bacon. The rest of you, mesomorphs, ectomorphs, get some bacon in you. Bacon and sausages and eggs for breakfast every single day. And um, us endomorph diets, we can have turkey breast rashers. Now, these actually, they are smoked. They cook so quickly. They taste like bacon. They are really, really nice. Fat free. Like completely fat free. 24 calories per slice, Woo And we're not even gonna be counting your calories. Um, but this is high, high protein because again, it's made out of turkey. So I'm gonna be having turkey rashes instead of bacon. I am also going to have fried mushrooms, because I like those. Um, and I went to the market the other day, which I very, 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 really do. Um, and one of the things that I picked up, just to spice up my life a little bit, is duck eggs. Look at the size of that. Can you imagine? The, the duck really must have hemorrhoids after pushing that out. Duck eggs are beautiful, honestly. So if you're bored of eggs, just go and try some duck eggs or something different, okay? Now, I could have some baked beans with that. I could have some chopped tomatoes with that. Genius, absolutely love it. Breakfast is sorted. So remember, we're doing four small meals a day. So don't get too picky with your portions because four small meals a day get digested quicker, okay? But you don't have to caution control anything other than your protein. Genius. Now, then we're going to think about what am I going to do tomorrow? Well, I've got Kez and Alan coming around tomorrow for a bit of a hot tub session. So we're probably going to fire up the grill. So I am going to make, and what I've actually got here is some, the heck is amazing. So this is chicken mince. It's brilliant. It's chicken mince. But it's all seasoned for you. So the one I've got is spring chicken, which is made with spring onion, ginger, and red chili. This is amazing if you want to cook Mexican. Seasoned mince, chicken Italia, um, which is flavoured with tomato, mozzarella, basil, and garlic. And inside, they actually give you some really good recipe ideas, which is amazing. So if it doesn't rain tomorrow, we're going to be firing up the grill. So we will then have chicken sausages, again by heck. These aren't too expensive in Sainsbury's. Um, and you do find that Aldi and Little do their own version as well. So if it doesn't rain, we've got sausages and burgers on the barbie with some salad big fan of salad now to spice up your salad guys because you don't want to get bored why don't you try some antipasto love antipasto so antipasto we've got things like artichokes yummy um get your pickles in pickles make great snacks on the sofa especially the small ones they are delightful big fan of roasted red peppers they are just so so nice and they come in their own oils but it's always a good for your oil okay now when you're doing your salad the best thing you can do is try and avoid endomorphs no mayonnaise guys i'm sorry very high fat mesomorphs ectomorphs you get that mayonnaise inside you okay um, but what i tend to do is i go with a salad dressing that's an oil-based vinaigrette so a balsamic one is really lovely french dressing isn't too bad neither these are like really, really, really good for you. These are super low fat as well, yeah? So look at some salad dressing ideas. Marvellous. Um, and to add on top of a salad, if you do miss that sort of like carby feeling and texture, you can actually buy chickpeas. Now, chickpeas are not complex carbohydrates. Chickpeas, guys, is a protein. Get in. And you can buy cooked chickpeas, look, in a packet like so. Um, you can open them and sprinkle them on top of salads. They taste delightful. Um, or you can heat them up and you can have them as a warm dish instead. It's entirely up to you. Now, if it rains tomorrow when we're coming indoors, um, I'm going to make a spag ball, I think. Um, so I'm going to be using this mince. Um, and I'm going to be using Lloyd Grossman because I am a posh fan. Um, 
and I'm going to be making a spag bol. And I'm going to make my spag bol exactly how I normally would do. I'm doing it with chicken mince, which is going to make it low fat for all of you endomorphs. No pasta. I'm going to have instead boodles. Now the boodles are a great, oh, just can tell me what it's made from actually. Let's have a look. I'm not quite sure what that is. You'd think it would tell me on the thing, wouldn't you? Butternut squash, I think. Um, so it's actually a spaghetti made out of butternut squash. There again, Donna can put in the microwave for three and a half minutes, winning at life. Super easy. Um, so I'll check the weather forecast. And what I'll probably do is if it's not gonna rain, fire up the barbie. If it's gonna rain, I'm gonna get that in the slow cooker. I'm gonna get that done with the sauce. Three and a half minutes when Kez gets here. Happy days now. I'm not missing out on my cheese, guys, I'm sorry. So, there is an amazing company called Eat Lean. Um, Sainsbury's sell Eat Lean cheese. Whoop, whoop. You can buy it grated or you can buy it in a block. Now, Eat Lean cheese is absolutely amazing because endomorphs, we can eat this. Super, super, super low fat. It is actually half the calories of cheddar that we kill about calories. What we're looking at is the fat content. It is super low fat high protein, and it's lacto-free. It's basically made with skimmed milk. So if you were trying to eat it on its own, it's never gonna compare to Cathedral City, is it? But when you're grating it on top of everything, absolutely beautiful. Endomorphs, Parmesan. Parmesan, being a hard cheese, is low fat. Now, the general consensus is hard cheese Super hard cheese is low fat. Parmesan is super, super, super hard cheese. So you can sprinkle Parmesan on top of absolutely everything. And because it tastes quite strong, you're gonna enjoy the taste. You don't need to have a huge amount of it anyway. Okay, so that's my spag bun. Then we move on to Sunday. I'm gonna have another fried breakfast just because I can. Why not, yeah? Um, and then I might treat myself in the afternoon. And I might have something like him, I might have some more burgers. But what I will treat myself to is some potato fries. Potato fries are absolutely beautiful. The McCain ones are probably one of the healthiest ones on the market. And they are gluten free, which is amazing. Now the fat content is really not that bad. Look, medium fat content. It's not that bad. These are a special treat. You wouldn't want to be eating these every single day, but maybe, you know, once or twice a week, you can have potato fries. Oh, they're amazing. Now, I'm gonna put those in the freezer because I've just got back from doing my shop, so bear with me. Now, what I would sometimes do is I would cook off my potato fries and you can buy vegetable fajita kit. I'd be frying that off, sprinkling it on top of the fries with some chicken if I wanted to, or some fish, and then I'll be smothering it in eat lean cheese. No. All right, so again, that's like a delicious, instead of having a takeaway or going out for dinner, sweet potato fries are delightful. Shove a load of fajita mix on top, smother, put like loads of cheese. And again, it's spicy, spicy food will increase your metabolism and enable you to lose weight. Get in. Right, then we want to have a think about what we're going to have for some snacks, yes? Now, before we do snacks, let's just have a little chat about cheese again. So Eat Lean is £2.50 and it's at Sainsbury's Look and it looks exactly like that. £2 for the grated stuff. You can buy it online, it's £4 a block. You have to pay delivery, don't do that. Cottage cheese is low fat, crack on. Um, it's not lacto-free. Mm. Can't have that, so I don't bloody buy it. We have a rule in my house. If I can't eat it, it does not come over the threshold. One, I'm celiac. Two, I'm lactose intolerant. And three, I'm just a bit bossy. But it's my body, and you should put yourself as a priority. So never be afraid to say to the fam, nah fam, if you can't eat it, ain't coming in the house. Because the next three months, the most important person in that house is you. You put yourself first. I can't eat it, I ain't buying it. You're just a food shop, you do. Don't buy it. Um, now, there are some really good dairy-free products on the market, and one that I like today is, um, is dairy-free and is almond milk cheese. So it's like um, a cheese spread, <laughs> but it's been made with almond. Almond is pure protein, yeah? Um, so that is amazing. So that's what I got today, look, from Sainsbury's. I haven't tried it. I'll have a bash. I stuck my finger in. I left home so I could do this. Oh, yeah. That is delightful. That's really quite nice, actually. So it's cheese spread. 
made out of almond milk. Brilliant, low fat, go for it. All right, so another thing that I like is we're gonna to have to start switching out some mashed potato. Switch out your mashed potato for sweet mashed potato. Sweet mashed potato is a root vegetable, it's not a complex carbohydrate. All right, sweet potato, I'm lazy, yes, I like to microwave mine. Um, the best thing you can swap it out for though is always gonna be carrot and swede mash. You can buy Aunt Bess's and keep it in the freezer, I do that quite often. Um, but carrot and swede mash, look, that is banging, it goes in the microwave, it tastes delightful, honestly, that is great stuff. Which again, you can have with your chicken sausages. Whack some veg in, put some gravy on top, we're not going to get any more gravy. But Bisto Best is probably the least nasties in it, Bisto Best gravy. Get your gravy on it, yeah? Right, then we're going to talk about what am I going to have for my snacks. I've got loads of snacks, guys. So, I like hummus. Hummus again, and this one is like quite a fancy one, look. Hummus is made from chickpeas. Chickpeas is not a complex carbohydrate. Chickpeas is pure protein. Crack on. What I like with my hummus is some celery. I like celery, not a lot of people do. Now, if you're one of those where you like crisps and dips, don't panic. Awesome things to show you here. So, I love these. I got these today. These are £1.50 in Sainsbury's and these are made with peas and beans that's protein guys not complex carbohydrate they're baked so they live fat and these are salt and vinegar which is my favorite and they do look really really nice for £1.50 now what you need to think is the salt we don't care about salt when you are drinking three to four liters of water a day having a lot of salt in your diet that's a really good idea because it, it's an electrolyte yeah good for you trust me and um, the fat's not too bad at all these are great endomores go for it so you can dip these into your hummus or you can be dipping these into your cottage cheese or your almond milk cheese <laughs> right loads of other stuff stuff and um, these and i like these because these are actually only a pound it's a pound for six packets and these are oven baked pea snaps peas are protein not complex carbohydrates okay these are your crisps this is good, yeah? Um, so the delighted salted sea salt, sweet chili with lemon. And again, you can use your dips with these. These are great. I did go a little bit nuts, didn't I? Um, now, these are new, mainly because Claire Bear's gonna come back from the post office and she's gonna see all of this. And we're like, oh yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of a crazy scoff together. Lentil chips. Lentils are protein, they're not a complex carbohydrate, yeah? Um, barbecue flavour, which is wonderful, and the tortilla chips, but they're not made out of corn, they're made out of lentils. Lentil is protein. Um, you've probably seen all of these as well. These they sell pretty much everywhere. Um, so it's a selection of hummus chips. So these chips have been made from hummus, chickpeas. Um, we've got some that have been made from quinoa. Quinoa is a grain, yeah, but it's not a complex carbohydrate, guys. Quinoa is a pure protein. Quinoa is actually a grain, it's called the, um, it's like golden grain, um, and it's from Peru, deepest, darkest Peru, um, Machu Picchu, and the Inca Trails is where they actually, they discovered quinoa and they started to eat it a lot, a little bit of useless information, it's where the llamas come from. <laughs> quinoa is amazing. So when you're on a low carb diet, you can eat as much quinoa, chickpeas, lentils, crack on, um, and then again some more lentil ones. So if you are a chip and a dip person, lentil ones are awesome. Now, more snacks. Um, what Claire Bear really, really likes is smoked salmon jerky. I did not know this was a thing until last week when she turns up and mate, try this. Oh, God, it's nice. So I managed to find, she normally finds one in the packet. I found fresh salmon jerky and it was on offer. We love a bargain, 62p. And to be honest, it wasn't that expensive. It was only one pound 25 anyway. Um, but it is literally, it's jerky made out of salmon. Mm. So that's for Claire Bear when she gets back. She's super excited. She like literally ran off to the post office. Now, it's a little bit nostalgic. Jelly. I've got 10 calories in that. It's sugar free and it's jelly. No ice cream. But you're allowed the jelly. So if you're anything like me, you probably haven't had jelly since you were like, what, 12? They come in the pots, which is good because I'm super lazy. Have some jelly. Go and do it. You bring back some happy memories, yeah? Um, I found these, I haven't seen these before, so these are again some really good snack ideas. Simply coconut bites, they're made with one ingredient, coconut. Coconut is low fat, winning at life, okay? Coconut again is not a complex carbohydrate. Do it, 
okay? Um, and now remember, the sugar that we find in fruit is called fructose, and it's good for you. It's only when we fruit it, when we juice it, or when we smooth it, that it becomes glucose. No fresh fruit juice, mm -mm. and no smoothies, they're not good for you guys. But you can eat these little coconut bites. I thought they looked quite good, 80p each. I'm a big fan of trying new things. Variety is the spice of life. So one of the good things about you know being on a new diet like this is being able to actually try loads and loads of different new things and see if you like it or not. Oh god, I like that. Mmm. Oh wow. Okay, they're amazing. They are so good. And they did a chocolate one, but it's not got like chocolate chocolate, it's cocoa powder. So it doesn't count, very fair. These have got ape. Ape do some really good stuff actually. Nom 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 nom. That and all like that. Right, the other thing again is to come back onto your chickpeas. So you can actually eat these like snacks. Um, so the dried chickpeas, you can get them salted, you can open them up. I think these are only like 80p as well. Ingredients, 88% chickpeas, rapeseed oil, sea salt. Those tastes lovely, really, really nice. Those make a really good snack. And again, it's protein. It's not complex carbohydrate. Winning. Sorry, I've got a face full now, I know. <laughs> um, and the other thing that I love is fruit, and my pugs love fruit. <laughs> so I will sit on the sofa in the night time watching murder and serial killer documentaries, feeding my pugs blueberries. Blueberries, really one of my favourite. Um, luckily, raspberries are in season as well, so they're not too expensive. I love raspberries. I love strawberries. Um, and, you know, fruit and nuts are really, really good for you. This is like a really good snack that you can sit down and you can scoff your face full of fruit on a night time because it doesn't count. You can eat nuts. Nuts is protein, guys. Nuts is not complex carbohydrate. Um, now, you don't have too much nuts if you are an endomorph. They are quite high fat, but it's a good fat, not a bad fat, okay? So there is a bit of a difference there. You can have a little tub of nuts on the sofa every night with as much fruit as you can stuff in your face. Now, once you've finished eating, it's time for a drink, isn't it? Yeah. So I will be this evening, and every other evening, um, indulging in my lovely vodka. But with my vodka, what you need, guys, is a magic mixer, okay? So just like caffeine, alcohol is what's known as a diuretic, uh, which means, again, it's going to dehydrate you. So when you are drinking your vodka, and remember, you're only allowed spirits. Spirits are okay. Vodka, gin, and white rum absolutely fine okay you can eat them till they come out your ears or drink them rather but it's what you mix with it that is going to make the difference okay what you must not have is anything with sugar in you're not going to be doing yourself any favors okay bad times and you want to stay away from caffeine don't mix your alcohol on an evening with caffeine so when you wake up and you are hung over you're hung over because you are dehydrated yeah that is what is making you want to go to mcdonald's for breakfast you are hungover. And it's not that you're hungry, you're thirsty, because it is exactly the same signal that it's sent to your brain as hunger and thirst, they're the same thing. So you wanna go with a magic mixer. So what I'll be having tonight is my usual tonic water. Now I'm a psychopath, which means I've got quite bitter taste. Not everybody does like tonic water, it is quite bitter. Um, but they do some really good sparkling flavoured waters in all the supermarkets and they're about three for a pound, they're so cheap. Loads of different flavours. Um, tonight I'm going to be having my diet ginger ale, which on my traffic light scale is all greens because it's, there's hardly anything in it. Right? So diet ginger ale is amazing. Look at that, that one's from Sainsbury's. They do all sorts of stuff. They look like pink Russian soda, loads of different flavours, but these are magic mixers because they're caffeine free and they're sugar free and they're made from water. So whilst you're drinking your dehydrating vodka, you're rehydrating at the same time. It's genius. So that's me for the next three days, guys. Um, and I'm quite happy on this diet. I absolutely love all of this stuff. So remember, lentils and chickpeas, they're protein. Crack on. All right, if you're gonna eat your fruit, eat it as it is. You can eat as much of it as you like. The only thing that we are portion controlling is your protein and it's one cup. I wanna show you the cups, okay? Now I brought these from Asda. One cup. Look, it's massive. I can fit my entire fist in one cup. All right, so with every meal, all four of your meals a day, that's your protein. 
On top of that, fruit, veg, salad, whatever, crack on. Ectomorphs, half a cup of complex carbohydrates on your third trimester. All right, but one cup looks like that. So you're not gonna be hungry, guys. You're not, I promise you. And there's loads of low-fat alternatives there for your endomorphs as well. So I really hope that helps. If you've got any questions, please come and ask me. Um, send me pictures when you're in a supermarket. I really don't mind. That's why we have a group chat. Good luck. We're doing it with you. And we want pictures of what you're eating. Bye, guys.